Hey, it's Rob with The Big Green Egg, here to show you our seasonings, sauces, rubs, whatever you wanna call them. We have six of our seasonings and rubs, six of these uh, beautiful barbecue sauces we're gonna be talking about, and three hot sauces. So let's get started with our seasonings and rubs down here. This one right here is our sweet and smoky. And you can see on the uh, bottle here, we have it for uh, beef, pork, chicken, fish, great on any of those. And what you're gonna get out of this is your traditional smoked uh, paprika barbecue rub. And this is really good, I'm telling you, on some ribs. I love it on pulled pork. This is great uh, for that. Now we have our ancho chili and coffee. Again, this is beef, uh, pork, chicken. This is a great rub. I actually love this. It's a blend of uh, poblano peppers and a coffee and spices. So really good on, uh, I love it on beef actually. This is probably my favorite on beef and chicken. Um, then we're gonna go with our, let's see, savory pecan. This one's a, a great one too. And this one I really like on pork, chicken. You can even do fish. Uh, you can put it on top of that and, and even beef. So this one here, the savory pecan is a, a nutty blend of sweet and savory flavors that you're really gonna love uh, when you're trying to enhance the flavor of any meal. Ah, this one here, Nashville hot. This one everybody talks about. Now, you can use it on pretty much anything. But I gotta tell you, when you're doing some pork or you're doing some uh, chicken wings, absolutely one of the best on the market right now for that nice hot seasoning to enhance the flavor of that. This one here, this one is our citrus and herb seasoning. Again, they show it with uh, you know chicken, vegetables. I love it on vegetables and I love this one on fish. This one absolutely hands down. If you're doing those two, it's a plus. You gotta have this one. Uh, up in the pantry when you're trying to enhance your next meal with some of our seasonings and rubs. This one here is a classic steakhouse. And again, you can use this on pretty much anything, but you sprinkle a little of this on one of your favorite steaks, oh, spectacular. Now we're gonna move to some of our sauces here. And this one here, if you're, you're a mustard person, you love uh, having mustard, that tang, you're gonna get that with our zesty mustard and honey barbecue sauce and it's exactly what you think it is. It's a honey mustard sauce, but it's gonna give you a little bit more of that barbecue tang to it. So you, if you like that, this one's for you. This one right here, the Carolina style, bold and tangy. This is what your thinner uh, vinegar barbecue sauce is gonna be uh, when you go to those uh, barbecue houses, smoke houses, things like that. That's gonna be uh, your uh, barbecue sauce there. This one, personally, my favorite, the Kansas City style sweet and smoky, and it's exactly what you think it is. It's very sweet and very smoky, and you put this on your ribs, oh, fantastic, one of my favorites. And I'll give you a, an example here what you can do with these. If you like, some people actually mix this and the Carolina together to give that uh, sweet and more tangy taste to some of those barbecue sauces if it's a little too sweet for you. Or you take the sriracha and onion, oh, and mix it with the sweet, it gives this sweetness and some heat. It's spectacular. So these are two of my favorites here. This one right here, the Kentucky Bourbon Barbecue Sauce. It's kind of a glaze, um, if you will. You can put it on after the, the meat's cooked and you got your seasonings and rub on. You can add this after the fact and it is really tasty, but it's a sweet Kentucky bourbon. And man, I gotta tell you, even in some stir fries, this is spectacular. It is a must try, no doubt about that. I mentioned the sriracha already. That one's giving you your heat. It's kind of the red sauce, if you will. The mopping sauce is almost like your Carolina. It's got that tang to it. It's a little bit more thin, a little bit more runny because you're actually mopping it on after the fact and during the process of cooking the meats. So this one there, you can use that. Now, if you really like some hot, and I'm gonna, this one's a little weird because when I first came out with that, I wasn't sure what to think of this. It's the dill pickle hot sauce. And you're like, what? Yeah, that's how I was. But it is really good. This is a must try. You'll be very surprised. All right, we also have the habanero hot sauce, which I gotta tell you, even people who love hot sauces, they say, listen, this one is hot. This one's gonna add a little spice in your life. And there's no doubt about it. You put this on chicken, you wanna put it on some wings, however you wanna do, this is going to be your heat, there's no doubt. You don't want so much heat, but you still want that, that tang and that little bite 
you're gonna get that with the cayenne pepper uh, hot sauce. Another spectacular sauce from the Big Green Egg.